Jenny Motion is one of the best Android emulators out there, letting you run Android apps and games like PUBG Mobile and others right through your Windows desktop. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Jenny Motion tutorial run Android apps on Windows 10. Genymotion is a popular Android emulator based on VirtualBox if you play heavy duty 3D graphic games such as PUBG Mobile which require 2 gigabytes or more of space Genymotion lets you experience them on a larger laptop or desktop without performance issues In this tutorial you'll learn how you can run Android apps on Windows 10 with Genymotion and play your favorite Android games on desktop Download and install Genymotion Download Genymotion Desktop for Windows with VirtualBox from its official link. The minimum system configurations are Windows 8, 64-bit CPU, hardware accelerated GPU, 400 megs of disk space, 4 gigs of RAM and VirtualBox, which is included with the download. While it says 4 gigabytes of RAM, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM is preferable so that you don't experience any performance lags. The more RAM you have, of course, your experience will be better. While installing, select your desired setup language to English or any other language which you prefer. To create a folder path in Windows 10, at least 315 megabytes space is required. You have a choice to not create a start menu folder so the app won't interfere with the rest of your PC functions. Wait a while for Genymotion to install. Once finished, it will automatically start installing VirtualBox. Click Next to agree to the setup of Oracle VM VirtualBox Wizard. VirtualBox will now install a number of internal components. Click Next to proceed. You will get an option to not create VirtualBox's start menu entry, shortcuts and quick launch bars. I never set any of those things because I hate cluttering my desktop, but in this case I'll let it go. You may get a warning of network interfaces disconnecting your network temporarily. You can safely ignore this message, so click Yes and proceed. VirtualBox is now ready to install. Click Install to proceed. It takes a little while longer for the VirtualBox application to install on your system. Click Finish once the installation is complete. This will automatically take you to the next step of Genymotion Launch. Launch and activate Genymotion. When installation is finished, you can launch and activate Genymotion. The Genymotion app will launch on a Windows 10 screen. In the next stage, you will need to create a Genymotion account to run the Android apps. This will automatically redirect you to a browser window with a Genymotion form. While filling out your information, please make sure to select Genymotion for personal use or gaming. When the license window appears in the Genymotion dashboard, select personal use if you don't have a paid license. Finally, there will be an end user agreement which you have to agree before the Genymotion dashboard will open on your screen. Usual kind of thing. Install virtual device in Genymotion. OK, now you've got it all up and running, you need to make an actual device. Working with Genymotion is very easy. All you have to do is click the plus to install the virtual mobile devices to run your emulators. You can run more than one virtual device on your Windows 10, depending on how much RAM you can spare. Select your target virtual device based on its configuration. Initially, go for the simplest custom phone as a trial, and you can delete these virtual devices very easily. You can set up various parameters related to your virtual device, including Android version 4.4 and higher, and RAM, minimum 2 GB is recommended. It takes a little time for the virtual device to be installed on your Windows 10, so just let that progress bar roll. A virtual device is slowly being installed. As shown on screen, it has been created successfully. Hurrah! You can now boot this virtual device. Again, it doesn't take very long for the virtual device to get up and running, but just wait till the progress bar finishes. Launch virtual device and run Android apps on Windows 10. Once you've launched your virtual device, it opens as a separate window on your desktop. Notice the free for personal use overlay at the bottom of the screen. Annoying, but not a huge problem. You can play with the apps on the Windows 10 home screen just as you would on a regular phone or tablet. Go to the browser window to download your games such as PG Mobile, Angry Birds, whatever kind of a game you'd like. For serious emulator work, you really need the Play Store downloaded from GApps, which can be accessed from the system tray on the right. You have to re-verify the Google Play account to download the apps. GApps is only 70 megs of space, so you can download it for Play Store access. Once the Play Store has been installed, it will ask you to restart the device. This will not restart your computer, just the virtual device. It will boot up automatically in just a few minutes. 
Now you can download any game or app you want directly from the Play Store. If some apps such as PUBG Mobile are not being supported at this point on the virtual machine that you've selected, then you need a higher virtual machine with a higher Android version and more RAM. Refer to the earlier section to create the appropriate machine for your needs. The downloaded apps are now installed on Genie Motion Emulator and you can find them in your apps on your virtual phone. As you can see, Genie Motion is a very useful application to run all your favourite Android games and other apps on your desktop and laptop computers. It has many advanced options such as joystick, accelerometer and remote controls to support advanced features and capabilities. Other than Genie Motion, you can also check out Android x86, Bliss OS and Phoenix OS to run Android apps in Windows. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.